whiteboard on pretty quick. Um, you know, I'm almost kind of almost messing things up. I want I wanted to play in this stuff flush, but then you run the risk of like hitting. Okay, took a couple dents here and there, but I'm gonna end up rounding this over quite a bit anyway, like uh, like an eighth inch or or even better. I'm gonna end up. Everything is going to get sanded, easy edges everywhere, so hopefully I can not worry about that too much, but uh, I'm going to stop before I mess it up. And I might, so all I'm doing now is I'm putting a, I'm putting a board on here just because I wanted something to uh, support the base. I'm going to put base trim. And then um, I was also thinking I'm, might just run the trim right on the front and just round over the edges. That's how lots of bookshelves are done. And it, it kind of makes sense. I'm already into this, like, it seems like it's a lot of time and everything, but it's fine. It's all good, but, um, you know, it makes it simpler too. Plus I can push it to the wall like I want. So, um, I, I took, I'm trimming this off, um, down here because I don't want, if there's a hump in the floor, it'll affect it, you know, so I want it to sit on these two feet. I've already split out a couple of these. Really give this a little chamfer also, but. So anyway, I'm gonna put this board in, uh, trim this. I'm gonna call this planing good enough before I mess it up. <laughs> I mean, I, there's probably a little bit more, but it's just like, just running the risk of uh, kind of messing it up a little bit, which I don't want to do. Uh, I'm just trying to, oh jeez. Should also clamp this down. Just move it all over the place. Okay. Anyway, you know, I don't want to angle that and everything, but I'm gonna, this is all gonna get sanded, so it's probably close, close enough. Uh, this one, the other one was a little bit worse. And, uh, but it works okay. And then, but then sometimes you catch this. this edge and, uh, it's a little tricky. Then. Yeah. But uh, it's pretty, it's pretty much close right now. So. couple of good swipes and then it works out. Yeah, there was some, there was some variation there. But this is not how you do this. <laughs> Let me just tell you, this is uh, being lazy because I should clamp this down. All right. Let me uh, finish this up, kind of.
that's what I used to, that's, that's what I like to call it, wood crystal. Solid, you know? Well, that one's got some bounce to it. Okay, well, that pretty much concludes the build, the build portion of this. Uh, I added this board down here and this board, this is a, this is getting a piece of trim. I debated on wrapping it around with returns, but I think a lot of bookshelves are made with just a trim applied and I think I've already got, so I've, I've got to paint it. They increased it a little bit. Um, so I have to paint this whole thing. Anyway, this is pretty much ready to go. All I got to do is sand. Uh, I'm going to putty, putty, sand everything. I'm going to knock down all these sharp edges. I got some dingers here and there. I got some rough spots. It's really not too bad though. There's just a few, there's not too many like knot defects and uh, definitely a lot of uh, sanding, which would be, you know, going over it. Maybe not too much, but hand, hand sanding. It's going to be easing the edges everywhere. And uh, so that'll be a bit of, so it's a, it's a good couple days of prep and paint. So I'll probably put the trim on before I paint. I'm gonna run that by the customer, but that's it. That's pretty much the build. I mean, the backboards went good. They're all glued, nailed. Uh, yeah, so they look pretty good. I learned, I learned a couple lessons on this uh, as usual. Um, you know, straight flat material is always, always good. So that could have been slightly better. Uh, and then uh, I definitely would try to keep these at three eighths or thicker next time because the sideboards, and also mill them maybe for this type of thing. Maybe mill them closer to when I'm actually gonna assemble everything because I think they get. It's got some slight waves in it, so when I glue it up. Every, you know the boxes are square, but I also want to check the straight line of the the sides because some of them have they got like some weird curves and you know there's variations in it, but it still looks fine. It, which it actually looks handmade, you know. So, but anyway, it looks good, and I got two of them. They're uh, the build parts done, and next will be painting. So painting and install and then I, I'm just ready to be done with this one at this point because I got it's not a ton of work you know a few days five days a, a week but it feels like two weeks <laughs> I probably overthought it and everything else but anyway it turned out great they're beautiful they're gonna look even you know I'm gonna try to get the uh, puttying nice and all the sanding so then you know when you put a a fine finish on there you know you don't want things to jump out so that'll be the next step and that's um either this weekend or in the next week so i don't know if this will make it into the the third part i've already got a whole bunch of too long footage in there so anyway uh thanks for um watching and thanks for all the new subscribers people coming through and checking out the channel um i had a one video did really well for my channel which is crazy so welcome to the new subscribers and i hope that we keep making all kinds of wonderful things make the magic happen anyway thanks for watching we'll see you next time